Hey, last week we talked about inventory, so this week let's talk about the shy seller. What is it that is stopping homeowners from selling their homes to move up or to downsize? The top three reasons owners are selling are number one, home size. It's either too big, it's too small, they want to change. Number two, wanting upgrades so they can either take this house and upgrade or they can just find a house that has those upgrades. Number three, fixed purchase errors, regretting the home they thought they would love. The results are number one, fear of not finding that home just the right size due to the inventory shortage. Number two, owners are either upgrading their existing homes or living with it the way it is. And number three, fear of not qualifying for a loan these days or stricter guidelines that are gonna make it harder for them to get into their home and that they wanted in the first place. Well, they won't know unless they try and it's a great time to try. The rest of the top reasons for selling are job relocation, personal relationships, to be near family. These are the reasons that will usually not be derailed by low inventory numbers. For the most part, owners are shying away from making the move to sell and purchase a new home primarily due to the lack of inventory. They voice concern that they would end up compromising on too many things that they really wish they could have in their wish list because of too few homes to choose from on the market. This is a common issue, but how do we help the shy seller overcome all these fears? You know, agents can't do this alone. You and your potential shy seller should work closely with a lender to assist them in making sure their goals are met. They can find a home before they sell with the right timing and pre-approvals. So check it out. Help them out, and now for Minding Your Own Business. Hey, everybody loves DIY, so do-it-yourself email marketing is our topic today. I know you probably don't do weekly emails to your past clients and leads you've gathered, so how do you stay top of mind? Look, they only have room for one or two agents, and they're going to work with probably 78% of them are going to work with the first agent they meet. Email is a great conduit to keep that top of mind. Here's a few ideas you can do yourself in just minutes. Number one, create an email campaign focusing on your niche. What makes you different and what makes them like you? Number two, create a weekly email newsletter. Number three, work with local businesses to grow brand in an email offer. That way they keep it around so they can get a discount. Number four, invite your sphere of influence to a local event or free online webinar for homeowners. Number five, rate updates and info. Work with a local lender to get those. Number six, seasonal homeowner reminders and safety tips. We do lots of those and love them. Number seven, survey or poll your clients and share the results. Well, that's this week's edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again and have a great day.